This will hurt the narcissist forever. When the narcissist leaves you, they don't just leave. They don't just disappear as though they never knew you. Even though you might not see them in person, they're still around. They're still watching you. They're talking to people about you. They're stalking your social media. Trying to observe the pain and suffering that you might be going through. They want to know how it has affected you. They want to see you going through it. And while you're going through this pain and suffering, whether they discarded you or you discarded them, they portray it as though it was all your fault, as though they didn't do anything wrong. It just adds to the worry and confusion that is already existing in your mind from the discard. Whether they leave you or you leave them, they will still blame you. The narcissist has a false self, a false character that they have created which is designed to deceive you. Because of this, they believe they can get back in whenever they like. They have this arrogance and pride and a false sense of superiority because they have managed to trick themselves into believing that their false self is real. They only keep people around them that will validate their false self and the illusion that they are trying to portray. Anyone who does not do that will be devalued and discredited and the narcissist may even enforce their flying monkeys against them. A few weeks or months after the discard phase, the narcissist will usually hoover you. They will try to get back in. And because of the ease of technology, they will often do this through social media. Remember, they have a false self who they believe is everything that you could ever want them to be. So in their minds, you are going to want them back into your life. They're not thinking about all the hurtful things they did to you. They believe their own lies. So they really believe that it was your fault. What you can do in this situation and what will hurt the narcissist forever is when you block them on social media permanently. You make it impossible for them to get in contact with you ever again. It causes a narcissistic injury. It triggers them to reflect on how they really feel about themselves. How worthless and insignificant they really feel inside. When you don't respond to their messages, it tells them that you are no longer susceptible to their manipulation. You are too knowledgeable and aware for them to deal with. They understand that they cannot mess with you anymore and it triggers them to reflect on the fact that their false self isn't real. This grandiose fantasy that they have created about themselves isn't real. And this is a very miserable, depressing experience for the narcissist, which will hurt them forever. Whenever they hear your name, whenever they think about you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissistforvercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.